What if I told you, DJ, I just redefined FPV flying again? Yeah, the Avatar 3 is here and it's not just an upgrade, it's a full-on evolution. We're talking better image quality, smoother control, longer flight time, and a design that's built to survive your wildest crashes. But hold up, is it actually worth the hype? Or is DJI just polishing the same old drone with a new badge? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly where the Avatar 3 stands and whether it's about to take over the skies. At first glance, the Avatar 3 looks familiar. That hoop-style frame with the built-in prop guards is still here. And honestly, I'm glad DJI didn't ditch it. It's practical, tough, and perfect for those oops moments when you bump into a wall or tree. But look closer and you'll spot all the refinements. Tighter build, improved airflow, better impact resistance. It's lightweight, yet feels premium in hand. And for FPV flyers, that balance between agility and protection, game-changing. You can zip through tight spaces or dive down mountain trails without worrying about shattering your gear. DJI basically built this thing to say, yeah, go ahead, push your limits. Now let's talk about what makes or breaks a drone, the camera. The Avatar 3 rocks a 4K sensor at 60 frames per second with a massive 155 degree field of view. It's that wide, immersive FPV look, minus the distortion that used to plague earlier models. The footage, crisp, cinematic and full of depth. DJI's new HDR and color science push the dynamic range like never before. So you get those punchy highlights and true-to-life shadows right out of the camera. Whether you're weaving through a forest or chasing sunset light, every frame looks like it's ready for the big screen. Trust me, your edits are going to thank you. Flying the Avatar 3 feels different. Pair it with the new Goggles 3 and Motion Controller 3, and it's like your brain is flying the drone directly. The Goggles now have micro OLED displays. Sharper, brighter, zero lag. You literally see what the drone sees in real time. And the motion controller? It's intuitive enough for beginners, but precise enough for pros. The hand tracking movement makes flying feel natural, like you're painting the air. For seasoned pilots, you can still hook up your FPV remote for that manual control. Either way, this combo bridges the gap between pure adrenaline and cinematic control. Now here's where DJI really listen to the community. Battery life is up to 23 minutes, and that's a big deal for FPV drones. More airtime means more creativity, more takes, and less time swapping batteries. The Rocksteady and Horizon Steady stabilization tech is next level. Even during aggressive flips or dives, the footage looks buttery smooth. The downward obstacle sensors, auto brake and return to home features keep things safe, especially when flying in sketchy spots. And the new turtle mode, if you crash upside down, it flips itself back up. No walk of shame required. That's the kind of upgrade that makes real world flying a lot less stressful. So here's the bottom line. The DJI Avatar 3 isn't just a refresh, it's DJI's most refined FPV drone yet. The new camera, upgraded goggles and longer flight time make it feel like a hybrid between cinematic filmmaking and freestyle flight. For creators, this is your go-anywhere, do-anything flying camera. For adrenaline junkies, it's your license to rip through the air with confidence. At around $1,099 for the base kit, it's not cheap, but considering what it delivers, it feels worth every cent. So what do you think? Is the Avatar 3 the new FPV king? Or do you think DJY is playing it safe? Drop your thoughts down below. What if a pro-level drone could live in your backpack and still perform like a studio on the fly? Today we're unpacking the official DJI NEO 2, revealed first in China and arriving globally soon, and why this tiny flyer is more than just an upgrade. Stick with me because I'll walk you through the actual specs, the surprising performance gains, the features that matter to creators, and whether that Hong Kong price tag makes this a holiday steal. Spoiler, there's one feature that completely changes how solo creators shoot. More on that later.
DJI went region first with the NEO 2, launching it in Asia, while the global reveal lines up in the days ahead. It's clearly aimed at younger creators and travel shooters. Lightweight at just 151 grams, pocket-friendly, and packed with interactive controls like voice commands, hand gestures, and automatic flight modes that make cinematic shots feel effortless. If you want immersive flying, it's compatible with DJI's FPV gear and optional controllers via a transceiver module for better range and stability. And yes, the China starting price sits at 1,669 Hong Kong dollars, roughly 214 US dollars, surprisingly aggressive for what it offers. Don't be fooled by the size. Flight time edges up to around 19 minutes, and motor and battery tweaks give extra confidence for real-world shooting. Wind handling and sportier maneuvers are noticeably better, and DJI added reinforced prop guards so you can safely film indoors. The control suite also steps up. Motion controller compatibility and low latency transmission promise smoother framing for solo creators who want to stay in shot without juggling sticks. That motion controller might be the secret weapon for nailing smooth tracking shots without needing a second operator. This is where the Neo 2 really shines. It keeps the 1.5-inch CMOS sensor, but now pairs it with a faster f2.2 lens, improving low-light performance and color clarity. Video recording jumps to 4K 60 frames per second, and you can even shoot 4K 100 frames per second slow motion when using a remote or motion controller. The gimbal gets upgraded from 1-axis to 2-axis stabilization, making footage smoother and more dynamic. Intelligent modes have expanded too. Selfie shot, dolly zoom and master shots join the lineup, while the improved active track now has a new cycling mode that tracks subjects moving up to 12 meters per second. DJI has also pushed the limits of range and storage. Wi-Fi control range jumps from 50 meters to 500 meters, while remote operation still stretches to 10 kilometers under ideal conditions. Internal storage nearly doubles to 49 gigabyte, perfect for those moments when you forget your SD card but still want to capture content on the go. And despite all these upgrades, it remains featherlight at 151 grams, making it ideal for vloggers, travelers, and weekend creators who want to pack light. DJI Neo 2 isn't a toy. It's a compact creative tool built for people who want cinematic footage with minimal fuss. Between 4K 60 frames per second, 4K 100 frames per second slow-mo, better gimbal stabilization, smarter active track, voice and gesture controls, and that affordable starting price, DJI's strategy makes sense. If you're a traveler, solo creator, or just someone tired of bulky drones, this could be the pocket-sized upgrade you've been waiting for. So, which team are you on? Team Pocket Pro or Team Wait for Reviews? Drop your thoughts below. If this breakdown helped, like the video, subscribe for launch day coverage, and ring the bell so you don't miss it.